All right, I just received my first Gold Belly shipment. I gotta say I'm super excited for it. Take a look. Here's a quick breakdown of an unbox on it. Got uh, Bartoloni's, it felt like some Chicago pizza. Uh, my friend Jesse had been telling me about uh, Gold Belly for a while and had to give it a try. It's a cool logo. Order form, instructions. Gives you a breakdown. All right, next up is uh, breaking this out. Let's take a look. Okay, inside the box you have this monster uh, cooling box here. Cut the tape, but I've not opened it up yet. So first thing I notice just when it comes out is you can feel like a cold rush of air when it opens up and I can actually smell pizzas in here. This is the uh, freezer brick it comes in and uh, I would tell you it is still rock solid and still very cold. I got the uh, four pack, got meatball, pepperoni, and then a deep dish cup and a deep dish uh, special. So uh, looking forward to giving these a shot. Uh, criticisms of the product that I would say is I like the idea of Gold Belly, um, but what happens with all this packing material? It'd be great if they have some kind of a recycle program where maybe you can send them back for a discount or something. Um, you know, I mean, I'll use this brick. I can reuse that later, but uh, it seems like other than that, this Packaging is going to go to waste. Um, I think it's cool. There's a lot of great looking product and stuff that I can order on Gold Belly. But I would like to be able to not have to throw this packaging out every time I decide to order some food. I can't get here locally. So that is the uh, first official. Sadly, I cannot cook this tonight because of uh, kids softball practice and my wife out of town. So I will cook it up tomorrow. So in the meantime, I'm going to put two of these in the refrigerator and two of them in the freezer because you can freeze them for later. All right, so this is the first go of the uh, Bartolonis. Ordered this, uh, came yesterday, let it thaw in the refrigerator. I've got the deep dish pepperoni as well as their meatball uh, thin crust since that's what they're known for. Looking forward to giving them both a shot. Now the uh, one thing you'll notice, they are cooked ahead of time. So we're basically reheating them. Um, which was something I wasn't sure when it came to pizza. I didn't know if it was going to come, you know, just raw and then I cook them or what. So, but uh, I'm going to pop them in. We'll see where it goes. All right, the first pizza's out. Cooked it for about 14 minutes. Looks good. Smells good. And uh, we'll dive in here in a few. For the record, my family has been mocking me through all these videos. So I'm going to make them hot dogs instead. So uh, first few bites in, uh, it recooked nicely. Uh, it's still crispy, still has a flavor. I would tell you from a pizza standpoint, I uh, could use some more sauce, could be a little zingier, and the uh, meatballs for me are a little bland, but in terms of reproduction, in terms of you know reheat and cooking everything, uh, I think it turned out really well. And now, the deep dish. So I have this in for about 35 minutes, and uh, get into it here in a second. All right, first few bites in on the uh, deep dish from Bartolone's. This is the pepperoni and uh, sauce. Um, I don't think they use the same sauce they use on the thin crust. So uh, deeper flavor, tastes good. Uh, you know, good cheese in there, just a tasty piece of pizza. Uh, only, uh, I don't know, kind of down is, is uh, recooking the deep dish side of things. The uh, crust gets really hard. So this was in for about 35 minutes. It uh, was a little tough to saw through, but the rest of it uh, works great. So uh, overall, thumbs up. 